I'm gonna tell you exactly how much each step costs in the construction process for my new build in California. I've always wished that more people would post a detailed budget breakdown of how much it costs to build a new house. So I thought that I might as well share my experience in case it helps any of you budget for your project. For reference, my build is in Lake Tahoe, which is notoriously expensive to build in. It's a three bed, three bath, 2,400 square foot single family detached cabin with an attached 500 square foot garage. The average home value in the neighborhood is $1.5 million. I interviewed 10 builders for quotes before I signed a fixed price contract with my current builder. Okay, so this is the fixed price contract I have with my builder, breaking down every line item involved in the construction process. You should expect your construction lender to require a similar breakdown when applying for a construction loan. I'll go through each line item and then give the final total at the end. Okay, so first up is the plans. So architectural engineering and site map. So $12,000 for everything um, related to plans. I actually thought this was a pretty good deal. Uh, we went back and forth with our architect a bunch of times on the custom design, uh, trying to get everything right about the layout and the appearance of the exterior, getting everything the way we wanted. And then the engineer had to meet additional requirements for Tahoe, California, uh, for earthquake and snow loads. Um, and then the site map, you know, that's just like uh, where the house sits on the lot and like the topography and the trees and things like that. So all in all, not too bad. Next up is building and permit fees, $42,000. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Not much we could have done here. Expect to pay around this much for a 2,400 square foot home in California, you know, depending on which county you're building in. Next is temporary utilities and facilities. Basically, this just means temporary power and restrooms for the construction crew during the build. Moving on to site work. Uh, first is excavation and grading at $43,000. Yes, it seems pretty pricey, but there are so many environmental requirements so close to Lake Tahoe and kind of in California in general. Uh, we have to trench pretty deep around the entire property to improve drainage around the house. And there's also an upslope to the lot, so we have to dig down about four feet in a lot of the areas to accommodate for the foundation. We need to rent a crane for one day, and that is going to be $2,000. Uh, next up is bringing utilities from the street to the house. They're all gonna be underground. Water is gonna be $6,000. Sewer is going to be $7,000. And electric is going to be $3,000. As for the foundation, uh, the total is going to be $51,000. That includes $38,000 for the perimeter of the house, plus a bunch of footings under the middle of the first floor. And then there's an extra $3,000 uh, for a slab that makes up the floor of the 500 square foot garage. And then there's $9,000 for rough hardware. And that just means like all the steel rebar and the bolts for the foundation and all the labor to install them. The rough structure work for uh, framing, sheathing and siding is the single biggest expense at $166,000 and accounts for about 20% of the entire budget. It breaks down to $88,000 for materials and $78,000 for labor. Uh, materials include everything from two by fours to laminated structural beams, uh, plywood and uh, red cedar siding. This also includes the redwood for a second floor deck off the master bedroom. Um, and as I'm sure you've heard, lumber products are super expensive right now. And unfortunately, I can't just sit around and wait for prices to come down. So we are likely paying at least twice as much uh, for lumber as you would like in a normal year. Uh, it's kind of tough to swallow, but again, is what it is. The entire cost for windows and doors is 25000 uh, which, you know, I thought was actually pretty reasonable for the size of the house and the amount of windows we have. 
Uh, the windows are nothing crazy. They're just Anderson E-Series composite windows in black, but they are gonna be trimmed out in Naughty Elder, so they're gonna look pretty nice. Uh, I did consider getting aluminum or wood windows, but the slightly more premium look you get with those is not worth more than double the cost, at least to us. We are getting a 10 foot long glass stacking sliding door that opens up onto the backyard patio, and that alone is gonna be like $5,000. For the rough mechanical, uh, the HVAC consists of central heating via ductwork, and that's gonna cost $25,000 for labor and materials. And then plumbing and electrical, those are pretty self-explanatory. They're gonna cost $27,000 and $28,000 each. And then California generally requires that all new houses need solar panels but luckily we were able to get an exemption since there will be a lot of snow covering the roof in the winter and we have a lot of shade from some big cedar and pine trees so solar just really didn't make sense and luckily California isn't forcing us to put it on the roof. For rough finishing, there's going to be a membrane roof that costs $17,000. And then we have two garage doors that are gonna run us $12,000. And then there's gonna be a large gas fireplace in the main living space. And that's gonna cost 8,000 for the unit, chimney and framing. And then the cabin needs to be pretty well insulated in the winter. So insulation is coming in at $19,000 and then drywall for the entire house. You know, that's about 29,000 square feet, including the garage space, and that's gonna be $25,000. And then California, they require uh, fire sprinkler systems in all new builds, so that's another $10,000. Uh, <laughs> this is all starting to add up pretty quickly, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the interior finishing. Uh, painting of the entire interior is $19,000. There's a lot of finished lumber on the interior, including knotty alder doors and trim throughout the entire house, as well as a few uh, like decorative beams in the main living area and some wood accent walls. So there's gonna be a lot of wood in the house and that is gonna total $19,000. All of the cabinetry in the house, including the kitchen, uh, kitchen pantry and three bathroom vanities is going to be solid alder. I thought 25,500 for custom wood cabinetry sounded like a pretty good deal. So I'm happy about that. As far as the countertops, we're going with a quartz in the kitchen and bathrooms. There's a large 12 foot island in the kitchen and three bathroom vanities that need to be topped and there will be quite a bit of tiles in the bathrooms and then also the kitchen backsplash. So together the countertops and tiling is $28,000. And I know I already showed you a cost for the fireplace, but that was just for the unit and framing around it. So we kind of splurged and went for a like custom river rock surround and that's gonna cost $7,000. Uh, and yeah, it is a bit of a splurge for us, but we really thought that the cabin needed an awesome, like rustic centerpiece and a big stone fireplace sort of fits the bill there. So appliances, uh, this includes a refrigerator, gas range, vent hood, oven, dishwasher, uh, washer and dryer, all of that is $12,000. For electrical finish and uh, fixtures, uh, including light fixtures, this is $6,000. And then plumbing finishing, uh, that includes like sinks, faucets, shower heads, uh, toilets, all that, also $6,000. And then the flooring in the cabin will be a luxury vinyl plank uh, all throughout, including the staircase, and that'll cost $20,000. Custom mirrors and all the bathrooms is going to run $5,000. Seems kind of like a lot, but oh well. Finish hardware is things like uh, cabinet handles, stair railings, and other odds and ends. That's going to be $3,000. And then final cleanup seems high to me at $6,000, but is what it is. Again, I feel like I say that a lot, but 
it's just it is what it is and then at some point uh, we kind of just had to like stop negotiating and just get this house built before the end of the building season is over and in Tahoe that's in October so we don't have a lot of time for the exterior finishes uh, painting is 6,000 and includes the staining of the red cedar siding and then some minimal painting around the edge of the roof the driveway uh, that's just gonna be like regular black asphalt. It's like 20 by 40 feet, and that's gonna cost $5,000. There will be a fence, but it is not in the cost breakdown here because I'm still working out the details. Uh, so that's probably gonna be an additional cost uh, kind of after the build's over that I might just have to come out of pocket for. This metal railing item here is for the second floor deck off of the master bedroom. And then metal siding. So I know I already said that we have the red cedar siding, but the first floor of the cabin is gonna be in like a black coated steel, and that's gonna be 6,000. Uh, it's actually really affordable but I don't really want to do the entire house in the black steel because then it'll look a little too like industrial, but I think the it's going to look really nice up against the cedar. It's going to be a nice contrast, so I'm pretty excited to see that. And then finally flashing, uh, that's going to be an additional $1,000, and that uh, completes the whole structure. The remaining cost falls under project overhead, and this includes the contractor's profit of $95,000. Uh, that accounts for about 11.4% of the total. That's kind of a, you know, a standard cost uh, to the contractor between 10 and 15%, and in this case, it just happens to almost be $100,000. Uh, add in a contingency for, you know, minor things that come up for $6,000. Although, you know, some contracts might have a bigger contingency, but this one is fixed. So, you know, none of these prices are supposed to change at all. Um, even if I end up kind of getting screwed on like lumber, if lumber goes back down, but I've already locked myself into this uh, pricing for lumber, you know, then my contractor just profits the difference. So the contingency here is a really small percentage of the entire build. And then finally is just my builder's insurance. And it's common for builders to just pass this through to the client. And in this case, it's $4,000. So finally, the total cost to build our 2,400 square foot cabin in California is $832,500. Yeah, it sounds like a lot when I hear myself say the number. But before you roast me for overpaying, keep in mind that I'm building in a neighborhood of Lake Tahoe where the average home value is about $1.5 million. So I actually have quite a bit of equity built in. I saw the cost to build range from $300 a square foot all the way up to $1,500 a square foot, with the average being between $450 and $500 a square foot. I know that might sound crazy to you, depending on where you are in the country, but unfortunately, that's just the way it is right now in California. 